So here's a small video of a current bug in the Flickr website, uh, making a naive assumption about uh, touch support. So I'm currently running in Firefox on a Surface 3 touch-enabled two-in-one laptop. So in Firefox, Firefox does not uh, currently expose any touch events. So everything works as normal. If I zoom into a big picture, I can use my mouse or trackpad to zoom around, pan around the uh, large version of a photograph. And clicking uh, makes it smaller again. So no problems there. Now, if I go over to Chrome, now Chrome on touch enabled laptops does expose the fact that touch events are available. And if I now zoom into the picture here and I'm trying to use the mouse, it doesn't pan at all. The only way I can pan in this case is by actually using my fingers on the touch screen. That is the only way to pan the picture. And I've had a look inside some of the JavaScript on the Flickr site. To be honest, there's there's far too much code there. I couldn't make heads or tails of it. But my assumption would be that somewhere within that code, there is a simple uh, feature check that says something along the lines of, if on touch start in window, and then it simply assumes that the user is on an exclusively touch screen only device and disables certain functionalities such as being able to pan using the mouse. Because of course uh, we're on a touch screen device, why would the user not use touch? And well, this is a classic example of something I've been talking about in my presentation about touch and pointer events that with multi-input devices such as the Surface 3 or any of these two-in-one touch-enabled laptops, touch-enabled desktops even, uh, it's not a case of touch or mouse, uh, but really uh, there can be situations where it's touch and mouse. This could just as well happen, for instance, on a nominally touch-only device such as a tablet or mobile phone with a paired Bluetooth mouse, for instance, under Android. So that's certainly something that is worth having a look at.